um, where we use the horse's um, natural reflexes uh, in order to build a communication with the horse. Um, a horse has 150,000 years of evolution um, into being aware, mostly for predators. So it's his his survival is dependent on this awareness. Uh, so his eyes are on the side of his head so he can see 360 degrees around with the disadvantage that he can only see distance when he has both eyes on, the, on his objective uh, but anything else he can see so even something that's way behind him he can see it but he can't judge the distance so if you are standing right next to the horse but slightly behind his eyes and you wave it would be the same thing as being way behind the horse and waving. He will see exactly what it is, but he won't be able to see how far it is. And so um, it will trigger a reflex. Now that reflex for a horse is run. That's his number one uh, defense mechanism. It's used these huge, powerful hind quarter muscles and run. Um, and that doesn't matter where the stimulus comes from. If the stimulus comes from up in the front, his, his reflex is going to be to run in the opposite direction. If the stimulus comes somewhere from the back, his reflex is going to be to run forward in the opposite direction. And we can go ahead and use this reflex in order to start building a communication. We want to make sure that the horse knows that we are not going to hurt him, that everything that we do is uh, gentle, caring. So the first thing that you go ahead and do with a horse is you give him really nice scratches and pets all over his body so that he does not get spooked whenever you touch him anywhere. After that, you can start building a communication with him by um, um, learning him how, teaching the horse how to yield to your pressure. And we will go ahead and give an example of that. <laughs> 